Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. Thermochemical water splitting is an innovative technique with immense potential to revolutionize hydrogen production on a large scale. This approach leverages high temperatures, derived from concentrated solar power or the residual heat of nuclear power reactions, to induce chemical reactions that break down water into hydrogen and oxygen. Although it is not yet commercially adopted on a significant scale, intensive research worldwide aims to clear the hurdles that impede its progress. The primary allure of thermochemical water splitting lies in its potential to generate hydrogen, a flexible energy carrier, in a clean and sustainable manner, thereby facilitating our shift towards a carbon-neutral future. The crux of thermochemical water splitting revolves around using intense heat, between 500 degrees minus 2000 degrees Celsius, to stimulate a chain of chemical reactions, ultimately leading to the dissociation of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. A noteworthy characteristic of this process is the cyclic utilization of the chemicals involved. At the end of each cycle, these chemicals are restored to their initial states, making them ready for the next cycle. Thus, this creates a closed-loop system, wherein water and heat are the only inputs, and hydrogen and oxygen are the only outputs. The cerium oxide cycle and the copper chloride cycle are two significant examples of thermochemical cycles. The cerium oxide cycle is a relatively straightforward two-step process, which starts by heating cerium oxide to extremely high temperatures, causing it to lose oxygen and become cerium, 3, oxide. When water is introduced, it reacts with cerium, 3, oxide to reform cerium oxide and yield hydrogen. Despite the high operating temperatures required, the simplicity of this cycle is advantageous. On the contrary, the copper chloride cycle is a more complex, hybrid process that functions at relatively lower temperatures. The cycle initiates with the heating of copper, 2, chloride to produce copper, I, chloride and chlorine. Further heating of copper, I, chloride results in copper and additional chlorine. Water is then introduced, reacting with the copper to generate copper, 2, oxide and hydrogen. The high temperatures needed for these reactions can be obtained either by focusing concentrated sunlight onto a reactor tower using an array of mirror heliostats or by utilizing the waste heat produced by advanced nuclear reactors. The emphasis on these heat sources stems from their capacity to generate high temperature heat with minimal or no associated greenhouse gas emissions. However, this groundbreaking technology is not without its challenges. Materials used in the thermochemical cycles must demonstrate excellent efficiency and durability, features that are somewhat lacking at present. Reactor designs must be robust, capable of withstanding high temperatures and enduring repeated heat cycling. Additionally, for solar thermochemical systems, the high cost of mirror systems used for concentrating sunlight onto the reactor needs to be significantly reduced for economic feasibility. These obstacles are the catalysts for ongoing research and technological innovation. Enhancing the efficiency of the materials involved in the process is a significant area of study. The discovery of new materials or ingenious ways of employing existing ones could bolster the performance and durability of the thermochemical cycles. Similarly, pioneering reactor designs that can effectively tolerate high temperatures and heat cycling are a prime research interest. These investigations draw upon the progress made in concentrated solar power technologies, which have consistently advanced in recent years. Regarding the high cost associated with solar thermochemical systems, progress in manufacturing and installation methods, advancements in materials science, and benefits from economies of scale could gradually lead to cost reductions. Despite the challenges, thermochemical water splitting's potential benefits are substantial for hydrogen production. In our quest for sustainable energy, such inventive technologies offer viable routes to produce fuels with minimal environmental repercussions. While much work lies ahead, the continuous progress in research and development sparks optimism that thermochemical water splitting could play a vital role in clean hydrogen production in the not-too-distant future. In conclusion, thermochemical water splitting holds great promise as a clean, sustainable technique for producing hydrogen on a large scale. Its ability to use heat from concentrated solar power or waste heat from nuclear reactions offers a pathway to efficient, low-carbon hydrogen production. Nevertheless, several challenges must be overcome for this technology to reach commercial viability. These include enhancing the efficiency and durability of the materials used in thermochemical cycles, creating robust reactor designs capable of withstanding high temperatures and cyclic heating, and reducing the costs associated with solar concentration systems. Research is underway to address these challenges. Innovations in materials science, reactor design, and solar concentration technology may soon pave the way for the wider adoption of thermochemical water splitting. 
Despite the obstacles, the continuous progress in this field gives reason for optimism about the potential role of thermochemical water splitting in creating a sustainable, low-carbon future. As we continue our global journey towards a more sustainable energy landscape, innovative technologies like thermochemical water splitting stand out as promising solutions. Their potential to produce clean, green hydrogen, a versatile energy carrier, may be pivotal in our transition towards a more sustainable and carbon-neutral future. The continuous research and development efforts in this field are testaments to the global commitment towards achieving a cleaner, greener, and more sustainable future. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at RenewEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the